This is the fourth World Cup in succession in which they've had to come to the last game requiring a win to get them through or to get two points to get them through. It was the same in 1974 against Yugoslavia. They certainly beat Holland in 1978, but by uh, a narrow margin, 3-2, not sufficient number to get them through. And of course, that 2 all draw in Malaga against Russia. On a day in Mexico City, one of the best days we've had in Mexico City in the past week. And it is very warm out there, but certainly not as warm as Corretero. And there is a first indication of how the Uruguayans might be approaching this as Batista brings down Gordon Strachan. And there is a red card. He's off. What, what a start. Batista is off. And he's having no nonsense, and he's quite right. That was a vicious, cynical foul. And that is heartening to see. And beside me is Bobby Charlton. Bobby, clearly, he's making this a demonstration of what he means in his game. Well, I think it was obvious from the start that there was going to be a bit of violence coming, particularly, I think, from the, the Uruguayans. But that foul really did deserve a red card in any book. He'll be disappointed, but that's the way that they play the game here. They're trying to intimidate the Scottish players from the start. They're trying to intimidate the referee. They're even pushing around a little bit now. It is a fantastic decision from the referee. And I think it's, it's great for world football if all referees, if the foul is bad enough, to use the red card immediately rather than the yellow. Your goal. This is lying very deep and wide, and it's to Strachan. Nudges it forward. Here's Stullock. Oh, that's a vicious tackle again. He's looking down the middle, and that's a corner. It's gone across, a corner kick, and that was a really vicious tackle, and a late one on Paul Stullock. With that little double shuffle that is so characteristic of his play with his club, the United. And the tackle just going into him, and he got away, but the cross not good enough. Alderston. Deciding to play it square again. Keeping possession, Strachan. Deep run there by Roy Aiken. What's the turn going to be like? It's almost over. Brilliantly saved by Alves. Steve Nichols should have put that away. Much too precise in the way he went for it. Not exactly one of the great finishers. And Scotland really should have gone in the lead. A good run by Aiken. It went a begging. And it was more like a pass back than anything else. It lacked conviction. Well, Uruguay really have stuck to the task. They've done everything in this game to frustrate Scotland. Francis Colley. Ferreira. Francis Colley. Or McStay easily beaten by him. Francis Colley tries to put it in and Leighton is right behind it. It's a corner kick. And that is what Uruguay has that Scotland patently has not. One man who can take on a defence, turn them inside out and almost sneak it through. That's the quality that's missing at the other end. Here's Stutter. Goff. I think it's a corner, yes. Corner to Scotland. Tackle there by Cabrera. Cabrera, one of these players in Spain now. Ooh, just touched away. Miller's up. And that is over. No, it's not. And poor finishing indeed. Richard Goff. And it may well be we're going to see a procession of finishes like this. Really dreadful. Certainly the penalty area was very crowded, but they ought to be put away. Neri. Strachan. McStay on the run. Good run by McStay. Aiken is there and he can't finish. And somehow or other, these openings are being made and going to the wrong kind of a person in that box. Aiken again, not a penalty box player at all. He's a central defender. 
Ramos. Marios. Let's talk it around intelligently, trying to open that up. Free kick. Tackle from the back there by David Neri. Almost uh, 22 minutes of the second half gone. There's still no scoring. Ramos is there. Looks like Ramos. There's the head of the brilliant save. And where was the cover? A superb save by Leighton. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And if I were a goalkeeper, I should come out and tongue-lash a defence. No matter how brilliant this was. Look at this. Freedom of the park. And Leighton with that... Brilliantly instinctive save. Here's Neri. Oh, it's a great shot. And perhaps the best direct shot in the match, reminiscent of that goal he scored against Brazil. It didn't count. But hardly to see that effort by the central defender. Picked up there by Pereira. Free kick. And the Scottish players really are on the knees. And we're getting a bit of play acting again by the Uruguayans. What a pity they're like this. There must be considerable extra time in this. Injury time. Stop each time. There's Roy Aiken. Sharp. Willie Miller. And they've got to push it forward. No wonder nearly shooting them upfield. There's Richard Goff and the final whistle has gone. Uruguay have done it. The nine, the ten men have got their point to take them into the next round. And a very disheartened Scottish party by comparison trots towards the centre of the field. In all honesty, they simply didn't have the ability to beat this team.